Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. Uh, today I'm going to do pretty much our first tutorial within Eclipse and show you how to create a Java project and which holds the folders and the classes and all that. Uh, and we are going to learn how to print a simple statement to this to the screen. So first to get your project Java project set up, you can go to file Let's see, it's acting up. File new Java project over there. But I, the way I do it, there's a bunch of ways to do it. I'll just go here, new Java project. And I'll come up with a name uh, for this one. I'll say Java. I guess this is our fourth video. Uh, I'll say hello world. It's pretty typical that. Uh, hello world is what all the beginning first projects are for any language being able to print that out all right set that up hit next and hit finish all the default stuff should be good so if you open this up you have a source folder and you have the JRE system library uh, you can either click that or source but you want to go right here to new Java class if you hit this, you have you can make classes, interfaces, and enums. Uh, class will be the most common thing you do. So right here, you want to just you can click this too. Just new class and make sure the source folder is correct, which is Java 04, and it'll go into the source file. Right here, we're just going to say hello world. Uh, make sure that every letter the first letter of every word is capitalized uh, that's a custom um, in Java and make sure there's no spaces and everything else should be okay and right now it made a, a blank uh, Java public class for hello world template and within these brackets will be our class and like I said in the last tutorial, in order for something to, whatever gets read first is called uh, the main method. And it has a, a little bit of a title that I will explain in a few tutorials ahead of this one. But you're going to want to write public, static, void, main, parentheses, and string, capital S, uh, two brackets, and args. And then uh, want to do opening parentheses, and you can hit enter. Um, some people like to have the brackets like this so they can see which one opens and closes. Uh, that's how I started. Kind of just do it this way now. Kind of got the feel for where I'm at in the program. But sometimes it does help you to know, you know, see up and down where it ends and where it closes. So anything that happens will be within this main method. Um, everything that is, I guess that's a purplish color, is a reserved word in Java. Um, not sure off the top of my head, but there's about 20 reserved words that I couldn't make a variable called public. It already has a meaning, so some words you cannot use. Uh, but the point of this tutorial is to print out to the screen. And we are going to use a method called, well not a method, but there's a, uh, a system.out object. System is a class, and that refers pretty much to your system. And you say period, or dot, out, which is an output stream. And then within that object that we just created, they have quite a few methods, but we want to print to the screen and I'll show you two print methods within this tutorial uh, if we do print line is usually ln print ln is the most common thing I'll show you why and right here we're gonna say hello world uh, exclamation point and then at the end of every single line of code you want to put a semicolon and that makes the lets the machine know that your statement is finished. Without that, you're going to get an error. Let's see what happens if I have that. See, you have an error right here. 
you can look that up. It says syntax error insert semicolon to complete block statements. It's very important. If without uh, Eclipse and you, if you would have tried to compile this on the command line, um, it would have said what the error was and it wouldn't have created the dot class file and that just gets to become a nightmare, especially with bigger projects. So that's why I love Eclipse so much. So we're going to hit that and this will automatically save, compile, and run it. So what you want to do is hit run. Make sure that's the right file. It is. And say OK. And down here is the default console. So it printed Hello World. Now I'm going to copy and paste this so it does it twice. Copy. You can do uh, Control C and then Control V to paste it. Uh, that will become a very handy tip in the programming world. And pay attention to what print line does. Okay, so if I run this, bam, two different lines. So what print line means is it will print this statement, the string, and the next thing after that will be placed on another line. Well, there's also a system.out print method. And let's see what happens if we do that. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter if we do it here, but I'll just do that. Let's see what happens. It printed it on the same line. So print line is good when you need it to go to the next line. Print is great when you may need to concatenate, which means put things together, you know, add two things that make one. Um, may not make sense, but there are scenarios where that is the best case scenario and there's also other little tricks uh, this isn't important for right now but there's a backslash in is a uh, escape character for new line so if I did that that would act as if I had done the print line but print line is a lot easier to use so that is on how to print out to the console and remember system is a class system.out is an object and print is a method for that object and within these parentheses are the parameters and within the uh, quotation marks is a string and the next tutorial I'll go over what a string is in the string class so Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and please let others know about this uh, Mick Programming YouTube channel and the website. I'm still working on the website. Uh, I'm trying to make it as easy to use as possible. So some of these videos might not be on there yet, but uh, as of right now they're not. But I'm currently working on that. So thank you all very much, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Take care.